Hey, what's going on guys? It's Guitar Ringing Guy here. And this is a update that I've been requested to do quite a few times, specifically asking me to, uh, you know, what I think about the new um, Xbox 360 dashboard update. You know, do I like it? Do I hate it? You know, all that stuff. Since most of you probably have, I'm not really going to cover everything, but, you know, we'll cover the main important things about it. So, before I let you guys um, know of my opinion about it, just let me know. This is an opinion. It's I'm not trying to, you know, force you to agree with me. I mean, you, you can be influenced by my opinion and like it, but I'm not going to force you because I don't really get into all that crap. But... So yesterday, you know, I downloaded it and it didn't take that long, like most people for some reason. And once I started it up, um, I'm going to talk about the good things about it first. First of all, the intro is definitely, like, like cool looking. Like, all these green lines, like, swirl around and, you know, the Xbox thing comes in. And then, you know, it flashes, it says Xbox 60. Ooh. You know, that was cool. The intro was definitely better. Another good thing is that um, I like the way it sounds like when you start a party or when you invite someone, you know, stuff like that. It sounds cooler. Instead of an that annoying clicking, you know, when you invite someone to a party, it was like, <laughs> and it was really loud, and I, I don't know, I just didn't like it. And, you know, it's been pro to like this little smooth scan sound, which sounds way cooler. But that's just my opinion. Also, when you're like scrolling through categories, uh, I think that sounds cooler. Instead of that clicking thing whenever you would scroll, it's just, you know, it's hard to explain what it sounds like, but it's just better, you know. It's just my opinion. Aside from that, you know, not much has really changed, but um, let me talk about something that I really hate about it. So, all you guys know, the new Xbox guide, you know, it would pop up in the middle, and it was blue, and then you would go to your friends, and, you, you know, you could find them easily, that's just how it was. But, it was v pretty slow. I mean, when you would bring it up, and then it would just sit there, and then it would bring up, you know, your stuff. And clicking on your friends was even slower, which annoyed the crap out of me. And most people expected, including me, that, you know, a new Xbox update is coming out, so, and it looks similar, so it must be faster, you know, it has to be. That's not true. What sucks. It's, guys, it's pretty much the same speed bringing it up and going to your friends. I mean, it, it might be like a half second, if even that faster, but it's not really. It's like... Not even of a difference, you won't even notice. Obviously when you, um, you know, click on the Xbox Guide button, it, it'll bring up, you know, the white square up faster. But, I want my stuff right there. As soon as I click the button, I want it right there. I don't want to have to sit there for a couple seconds waiting for it to load. And, you know, clicking on friends takes even longer. And, you know, you're probably saying like, oh, a few seconds, quit whining, it's not that big a deal. You'd be surprised. I mean, you know, when you're in the middle of a game, and if you want to do something really quick, really quick, you know, I want it to be almost an instant, but it's not, which sucks. What I hate is that the Xbox Guide is white. It's pure white. Some of you are like, that's a stupid complaint. Why are you complaining about the color? Guys, it's pure white. And I mean, like, it's no longer a variety of colors, it's just, just a lot of it, it's mainly black and white, which sucks. But, for those of you gamers that like to play in the dark, you know, with the lights off or at night or whatever, I hate to say this, but you're pretty much screwed, because when that thing, I mean, I was playing it last night, you know, bringing up the Xbox Guide and, you know, it being all white, and that thing shining in your eyes hurts. Which, in my opinion, is very bad. I think they should have done the opposite. The Xbox guide would be black, and then the text would be white. So the opposite. That would be good, because you can actually, you know, read it later. Unlike this, where 
it's white and then you have your black text. It's so hard to read now. Much harder than the last one. The last text was white, this time it's black. And you're like, but black text, shouldn't that be easier to read? It's not, because the white is like so bright and shining in your face that the letters look actually like they're crunched so they look smaller and it looks like crap. And you can't find, you know, you can't find it as easy. But, you know, it's, yeah, I admit it's kind of a stupid complaint, but, you know, it's part of the update, so, you know, I'm not really going to rate a score on the update, but, you know, that's just what I think of it. Also, something else, it mainly looks like this because it's for Connect. Guys, who gives a fuck about Connect? Really? Really? You're gonna get Connect and get a game that looks that has worse graphics than a any Nintendo system. It I mean like oh I'm the controller. I'm gonna be moving around and stuff. Woohoo. What if you have all your furniture in the way or something? It's stupid. And I mean yeah, it would be kinda cool if they made them in like these cool types of games like um I don't know, some kind of shooters or action games, but they're not. They're just regular, lame, cartoonish, childish games that really, like, are you guys honestly going to play all of this? I mean, oh, but dude, I can use Connect and use my hand to scroll through categories like this. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. It's a waste of money. It really is. In my, If you want my opinion, you know, I wouldn't get it, but... If you really, if you have it and you like it, I'm not forcing you or telling you, you know, to not play it. If you like it, go play it. Seriously, I don't care. But it, in my opinion, it's a big waste of money. And seriously, like, so I'm looking at this website right now, you know, it's talking about the uh, new features and everything. And, you know, it's talking about Connect and no controller required, even though, like, seriously, this feels like they're ripping off Wii only no controller. It's crap. You know, you control movie with the sound of your voice or waving your hand, or you can connect with your friends using video chat with Connect. Guys, do you have any idea how expensive this is? I mean, the cheapest one I saw is over, like, a hundred and twenty dollars. That's the cheapest one. Why pay that much when you can have a Wii for very cheap and it's a better system than getting some crap Connect thing put up that has, like, really sucked games for it? Oh, but Josh, I can watch movies with my friends and you know, actually look at my friends while I'm watching it because it's so cool and magical watching a movie and controlling it with your voice and hands. Waste the money! You can use a controller for all that. What's the big difference? Who gives a fine crap? Seriously. I mean, you know, you know, it's a cool idea, don't get me wrong, but it's a huge waste of money for something that, you know, might not even work that well. Like, in my opinion. Oh, and also, Josh, they, they include ESPN, you know. I want to watch sports and, you know, it would be awesome. And I can watch global events from ESPN3.com and daily clips from it. <laughs> Who gives a crap? I can go on the internet and do that. PS3 owners can browse the entire internet. We get only Facebook, Twitter, Zoom, you know, all these websites we can just use the internet for, for crying out loud, that most of us already have. Why well, watch sports on a video game console? Like, ooh, they added one channel. That's so amazing. Who cares, guys? It's... Seriously, who cares? Oh, the dumbest feature that they will, they, they brag this, they over brag about this. It's 
the family center. It's pretty much where um, it provides a simplified family management and safety settings through family center. Um, family friendly content and discounts. Guys, who gives a fuck about family settings? If you're a parent and you don't want your kids to be playing inappropriate games, don't buy the game. It says M17 and up. Don't get the game if they're four years old. Like, I don't know what else to say. Just don't get them the game. But dude, it's like so cool because they made it like, you know, look cooler and it has awesome new features and ooh, we get all this cool stuff. It, it's going to be so cool. It's the easiest and best option for all of us. Waste of money and time. Who gives a crap? Enough said. Also, uh, if you guys want to do, you know, anything for me, you can um, comment below on this video um, requesting me to do rants on stuff because I actually enjoy ranting on certain things. Like, you know, it can be about anything. Like, if you want me to rant on games or rant on celebrities or rant on movies, rant on your mom, even though I don't know her. You know, anything you guys want, just, you know, request it below in the comments. And please don't want to be super dumb. But, you know, let it be something that you want me to rant about, that should be ranted about, you know, stuff like that. You get my point, whatever. Anyway, enough about all that. Um, new videos coming up. Um, definitely more Halo Reach custom made videos. Not sure when else coming out, maybe this weekend. Um, I'll be doing uh, videos of Fable 3 pretty soon because that game is extremely fun and it's very addicting. And... GTA 4 the Zombie Attack Series 2 Return of the Infected Episode 3. I have no idea when it's going to be coming out. Um, but, you know, just so you guys know, every single time when I make one of these videos, I need a lot of free time on my hands to be able to do it because, you know, the whole process takes a really long time. You'd be surprised. I'm not really going to go into all that because it takes forever. So, not sure when that's coming out, but it will soon. So, please stay tuned, alright?